Hi, my name is Maggie Smith. I'm the Communications Director at Sustainable Agriculture and Food System Funders. And I'm joined today by my colleagues, Renee Katakalos and Sarah Kelly. Today, we're gonna to talk about who SAFSF is and the fiber work that is happening through the Fiber Roadmap Project. Our fiber work has been made possible through support from the Globe Trotter Foundation and many others. This conversation is our 2022 update of where we are now and where we hope to go. So let's start with Renee. Will you please introduce yourself and tell us about who SAFSF is? Thanks, Maggie. I'm Renee Katakalos, Vice President, Strategy and Impact with Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems Funders, also known as SAFSF. SAFSF is an affinity group made up of grant makers, lenders, and investors who bring a variety of forms of capital to bear on supporting both short-term and long-term solutions in food systems and in agriculture. Our mission as an organization is to amplify the impact of philanthropic and investment communities in support of just and sustainable food and agriculture systems. Thank you, Renee. And Sarah, could you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what the Fibers Roadmap Project is and what's been achieved over the past year? Sure, Maggie, thanks. I'm so glad to have the chance to join you both today. I'm Sarah Kelly. My overall business is Common Threads Consulting and I have the huge opportunity to serve SAFSF as a project consultant for the work on sustainable fibers and textiles as a part of our agricultural system. So broadly, the Fibers Roadmap Project, um, it really started as that overall idea that fiber and textile crops are part of our ag system that was being largely overlooked, um, especially among in the funding community or as a place for funding and was something that we wanted to dedicate increased attention to. Um, so over the past few years, as you know, with support from Globetrotter Foundation and others, we started out with a research approach, a landscape analysis approach, and we published the Fibers Roadmap Report and its accompanying 12 case studies to give uh, really a human face stories to mapping those capital gaps and the incredible businesses that are doing this work across the country. So um, for your second question, our major accomplishments this past year, we've built on all that work by trying to um, meet those capital gaps through the development of the Integrated Capital Fibers Fund. This has been a super exciting and huge learning experience this year to take this idea from a vision, something that was called for in the Fibers Roadmap and move it towards reality. Two of our biggest milestones for the year were signing a memorandum of understanding with Fibershed to have a full partnership for the development of the fund, doing a lot of work internally on our goals and vision. And then when we got to the point where we needed a partner who really understood the how, signing a contract with Mission Driven Finance as our implementation partner for the fund. And we want to again thank Esther for the tip to look into Mission Driven Finance. It has been an incredible partnership so far that has really turbocharged our efforts. I think it's amazing how you all laid the foundation and we've been able to grow on that over the last year. Renee, could you share a little bit about how that work ties into SAFSF's overall mission? Yeah. Um, the Integrated Capital Fibers Fund is really exciting, and it's definitely a new direction for SAFSF. In the past, when groups of funders within our network have identified a common area of interest where they wanted to dive more deeply um, in and explore some kind of collaborative funding, we've generally helped foster those groups, and they've generally gone out on their own and formed separate entities. So some examples are like the Global Alliance for the Future of Food, Food and Farm Communications Fund, um, funders for regenerative agriculture as examples. Um, Sarah's research and the recommendations of the Fibers Roadmap showed that a different financial approach um, outside of grant making would be needed. And we're at a point now in our staff capacity and structure as an organization that we felt like we were able to step into that gap and help bring this integrated capital fibers fund vehicle to life. Uh, we see this as a natural and values aligned evolution of our work. The grant support of Globe Charter Foundation and others gave us the space to figure out the best way to do this with the help of expert partners like, as Sarah mentioned, Fibershed and Mission Driven Finance, um, without whom we couldn't do this. Um, you know, both of those partners are integral to the success of this project. And we're really excited to play this role 
and test the impact we can have in this capacity. Thank you, Renee. It's amazing that we have charted this new territory for us and that we're growing. And to wrap us up, Sarah, can you tell us what's on the horizon for 2023 in this work? Sure, absolutely. Um, it's promising to be a big and exciting year. Um, so even in really the shorter term, uh, we've just made a key decision to set up the fund vehicle as um, an asset pool within Mission Driven Finance, getting down to the nuts and bolts. So what we're hoping that we'll do is really streamline the process of creating that vehicle to accept uh, dollars into the fund. So even before the end of this year and certainly moving into 2023, our goal is to work with our partners, uh, funder partners with whom we've been in dialogue to secure the first uh, funds into the vehicle. And that will be closely hand in hand with continuing to work with all of our pipeline businesses to figure out who will be um, able and ready to accept capital for the fund. The idea of just bringing in the money without anywhere for it to go or just having a need without support, you know, neither of those works without the other. So it's really a partnership process to bring these pieces together. Um, we'll be doing another round of outreach to additional investors. We already have many of our, our team members on the road in the next few weeks to conferences and other outreach opportunities and just hoping to continue uh, building on Globetrotter Foundation and No Regrets support by leveraging, using the fund for leverage and awareness building. And it really will be a long held dream when we're able to get those first dollars out the door into the hands of US fiber businesses. It feels really close, <laughs> um, really exciting, and just very excited to keep working with all these amazing partners to um, make that dream a reality. Great. Thank you all so much for sharing this work and sharing how it connects to the work SASF does as a whole. Um, and thank you to the Globe Trotter Foundation for their continued support of this work. Thank you.